in the Nice little mountain quail hat, yeah. And then they just hatched last night. There's a couple more still trying to come out. And then, then you have the egg hatch, yeah. Hit about 20 something there. And then I'm gonna scoop them out. So, I've been setting you know, between 20 something and 40 some odd eggs a week. I've been getting hatches about every five or six days. And I've still got quite a few settings in the incubator and there'll be a few more to go. They won't be laying that much longer. I usually stop right at the second, uh, third week of June here. I've been getting a few eggs from a couple friends of mine too, so I've got a lot of different bloodlines of mountains. Uh, my colony has a few already and those two guys have birds from uh, at least three or four different breeders around the country. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a good little mix this year. Help that guy out. Sometimes you just got to do that, see? All it took is to flip that lid. He's, a, he's struggling. And, uh, he's got one. You know, this this egg was the first one to pip. He pipped a big hole in it. He hasn't been able to move. I think maybe that stopped him from getting his grip. I don't like to help him out because they most of the time they don't end up right. So, uh, but yeah, the brooders are filling up fast. And I keep this up and no tragedy strikes. Um, and I should end up with over over 200 mountain quail this year. And, uh, I'll be selling them in the fall. And taking orders anytime, 125 bucks a pair. But the, the low as you're gonna get. And stay away from the brokers. See them on there. Uh, 270 a pair, 275, 250, that's ridiculous for mountain quail. It's ridiculous for mountain quail, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, for years it was 90, 100 bucks a pair. It's, you know, these, a lot of these guys getting a little greedy, because they know some people will fall for it, but, you now they're getting cool, they're huddling up, so, I'll, uh, shut her off. I got a bunch under hens down below too. Had one little disaster there. Uh, proven hen that's been a good setter and a good mother for a couple of years. She let all the babies get out of the nest and it turned real cool that night. And I went down in the morning and I found them all dead. So that blew the wind out of my sails. Um, but, uh, but I got other hens with, with chicks and they're doing a good job and we got a couple of cool rainy days here and uh, so I'll keep an eye on them. But these guys, I've got two brooders all set up for them and they're going to go out and I got last week's to beat trim again. Well, they're about two weeks old now. I'll be beat trimming them for the second time. Alright, 